The Death of Edgar Allan Poe, A Mysterious and Tragic End Edgar Allan Poe, a renowned American author and poet, is celebrated for his contributions to the genres of macabre and gothic literature. His works, including The Raven, The Tell-Tale Heart, and The Fall of the House of Usher, continue to captivate readers with their dark and haunting themes. Yet, the life of this literary genius was marked by turmoil, personal struggles, and a death that remains shrouded in mystery. In this essay, we will delve into the final days and perplexing circumstances surrounding the death of Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe was born on January 19, 1809, in Boston, Massachusetts, to David and Elizabeth Poe. His early years were marked by tragedy as both of his parents died when he was just a toddler, leaving him an orphan. Poe was taken in by John Allen, a wealthy tobacco merchant, and his wife Frances Allen, who raised him in Richmond, Virginia. Despite their financial means, Poe's relationship with the Allens was strained, and he often felt like an outsider within his own family. Poe's turbulent relationship with the Allens persisted throughout his adolescence and early adulthood. He attended the University of Virginia briefly but struggled to adapt to the academic environment and incurred significant debts, leading to further tensions with his foster father. Eventually, Poe joined the United States Army under the alias Edgar A. Perry, hoping to gain independence from the Allens. During his military service, he published his first collection of poems, Tamerlane and Other Poems, in 1827, under the pseudonym, A Bostonian. After leaving the military, Poe pursued a career in writing and journalism, contributing to various newspapers and literary magazines. In 1835, he married his cousin Virginia Clem, who was only 13 years old at the time. This marriage, while legally permitted in Virginia, raised eyebrows even in the 19th century. Poe continued to write, gaining recognition for his critical essays and literary criticism, but financial success remained elusive. The 1840s marked a period of productivity and creativity for Poe. He published some of his most famous works during this time, including The Tell-Tale Heart, The Fall of the House of Usher, and The Murders in the Rue Morgue. Poe's distinctive style, characterized by its dark and melancholic themes, earned him a reputation as a master of the macabre. However, his personal life continued to be marred by tragedy and hardship. Virginia Clem, Poe's beloved wife, succumbed to tuberculosis in 1847, casting a profound shadow of grief and despair over him. This devastating loss, coupled with his lifelong struggle with alcoholism and depression, contributed to Poe's declining physical and mental health in the years leading up to his death. The circumstances surrounding Poe's death on October 7, 1849, in Baltimore, Maryland, remain a subject of debate and mystery. There are several theories and accounts of his final days, but the truth remains elusive. One of the earliest accounts of Poe's final days comes from Dr. John J. Moran, who attended to Poe during his illness. Dr. Moran published a memoir in 1885, over three decades after Poe's death, in which he provided a detailed account of Poe's last days. According to Moran, he encountered Poe in a delirious and incoherent state on the streets of Baltimore. Poe was wearing clothes that did not belong to him, and he appeared to be in great distress. Moran claimed that he brought Poe to the Washington College Hospital, where Poe remained in and out of consciousness. During his moments of clarity, Poe allegedly uttered the name, Reynolds, several times, Dr. Moran's account suggests that Poe may have been the victim of election fraud, as a man named Henry B. Herring, a known, cooping, gang member, may have abducted him and forced him to vote multiple times under different aliases. Cooping was a practice in which individuals were drugged, dressed in different clothing, and used to vote fraudulently in elections. It was a common form of voter fraud in the 19th century. Another theory regarding Poe's death involves alcohol poisoning. Given his history of alcoholism, it is plausible that Poe may have succumbed to the effects of excessive drinking. Alcohol poisoning can lead to confusion, delirium, and seizures, which align with some of the symptoms described by Dr. Moran. 
However, this theory does not account for the mysterious circumstances surrounding Poe's appearance in Baltimore and the use of the name, Reynolds. The Cooping theory, while intriguing, is also met with skepticism by some scholars. There is limited concrete evidence to support this theory, and it relies heavily on Dr. Moran's late memoir, which was published long after the events it describes. Additionally, the idea of Poe being abducted and forced to participate in voter fraud seems like a plotline from one of his own tales of mystery and intrigue. Another theory posits that Poe may have suffered from a medical condition such as rabies or syphilis, both of which can lead to erratic behavior and confusion. However, there is no conclusive evidence to support these claims, and Poe's symptoms do not align perfectly with either of these diseases. One of the most enduring mysteries surrounding Poe's death is the whereabouts and condition of his clothing. When Poe was found in Baltimore, he was wearing clothes that did not belong to him, and his own clothing was missing. This has led to speculation that he may have been the victim of foul play or that someone deliberately dressed him in different attire to conceal his identity. However, there is no definitive evidence to confirm these theories. Poe's death certificate, unfortunately, provides little clarity. The original document has been lost to history, and the copy that exists today contains errors and discrepancies. It lists, congestion of the brain, as the cause of death, which was a vague and often used diagnosis in the 19th century. Without a more specific cause of death, the mystery surrounding Poe's demise persists. In the years following Poe's death, his reputation as a literary genius continued to grow. His works gained widespread acclaim, and he became a celebrated figure in American literature. Poe's influence extended beyond the United States, inspiring authors and artists worldwide. His tales of mystery, horror, and the macabre continue to be read and studied, and his impact on the genre is immeasurable. Despite the enduring fascination with Poe's life and death, the truth remains elusive. The circumstances surrounding his final days are clouded in uncertainty and speculation. Theories abound, but conclusive evidence is scarce. As a result, the death of Edgar Allan Poe continues to be one of the most enigmatic and enduring mysteries in American literary history. In conclusion, Edgar Allan Poe's life was marked by tragedy, struggle, and creative brilliance. His contributions to literature are undeniable, and his legacy endures to this day. However, the circumstances surrounding his death remain shrouded in mystery and controversy. While various theories have been proposed, none offer a definitive explanation for the events leading up to his demise. Poe's death serves as a haunting and fitting reflection of the dark and enigmatic themes that permeated his literary work, ensuring that the mystery of his passing will continue to captivate and perplex generations of readers and scholars alike.